Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. My name is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and I hope whatever we get for here, uh, here resonates for you. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. And if you're new, please do check out the description box below. Any and all information that you need is there, tons of information. So please do go check that out, would be greatly appreciated. And just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Uh, welcome and thank you, thank you. And those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an, an exchange of energy as in a tip or donation towards the channel is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me and thank you so much. And um, I guess we'll just get started here for you Aquarius first half of August. I hope everybody's doing well. August already. I can't believe we're in August already. Where is time going? Okay, Aquarius. It is Leo season right now and as in the title of my channel, I am a Leo. My birthday is the end of July. But this is for you guys, Aquarius, Aquarius first half of August. So this is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign, planet, or element energy. We'll see how that could play into your reading for some Aquarians. And if whatever comes out here does not resonate for you, that is totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. So one card for Aquarius. Wow, Venus. Hmm. Venus is the planet of love. And Venus, I believe, is Libra and Taurus, I think. So, so something here to do with love. It could be something to do with self-love or love of family and friends. This is a general reading, but I always say if you could fit it into any kind of family or love situation, then please feel free to do that. But... And then we have seven. One and six is seven. Um, seven can talk about patience and waiting. It can talk about uh, defensiveness. It can talk about um, self-deceit, sneakiness. And it also can speak of confusion. So I don't know. We'll see if that means anything. It could just be the sign. Uh, Libra. I believe it's Libra and Taurus. <clears throat> just need a sip of water. Let me just double check on that. I believe, <coughs> excuse me, it is <coughs> Libra and Taurus. Yes. Libra and Taurus. So if you're not dealing with the Libra or Taurus, it has to do with some kind, something about love in some way, shape, or form, since Venus is the planet. <clears throat> a lot. All right. Aquarius. Oh, my <clears throat> throat is really, really itchy, scratchy. And I got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> What's going on, Aquarius? <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right. With this deck here, we'll get your main message. What does Aquarius need to know? What's going on with Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? The first half of August, Spirit, please. Can we have one card for Aquarius, please? One card. There we go. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in that. They all have been pre-shuffle cut and meditated on off camera. Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. All right, so, okay, I'm getting a sense here. There's something that you're, you really want to do. You feel like it's your life purpose. You, it's something you would love, love to do. Um, if it's not a career, it could be a passion project. It could be uh, some sort of new endeavor, um, just a hobby that may turn into something lucrative or something like that, something you're very passionate about. And um, it's telling you here to go and trust with, you know, your intuition. You see she's kind of holding that globe. 
which kind of reminds me of the moon energy. And the moon is all about intuition and knowing and trusting your instincts and gut feelings. So trust in your feelings, your intuition, in your higher knowing about what it, whatever it is that you just want to do that you feel so, that fulfills you, that uh, fills you with peace, happiness, and joy, that you just love to do. Just trust and have faith about that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So maybe some of you want to go into a whole new avenue, such as in some sort of a spiritual path being um, like a spiritual teacher or healer or maybe reading tarot like this or something like that a, like a new whole new avenue for you something you absolutely love doing it fulfills you in every way with the Venus energy but with the seven there you're having you no know, confusion about it you're having that inner conflict conflict and self-deceit about it you've been putting it off with that patience and waiting like just putting it off, putting it off, like not sure, not sure, you know, but yet defending it, being defensive about it, you know, like this is who you are, this is what I do, this is what I want to do, but yet a lot of conflicting things surrounding that, but it's just telling you to go with it and trust, just trust, so, all right, so let's see, Aquarius, Aquarius, first half of August, Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. All right. Aquarius, why are we in this energy? What's going on with Aquarius spirit, please? First half of August. Can we clarify their energy right now? Oh, that's way too many. Clarify their energy right now. Wow. <laughs> and I just had a premonition of the High Priestess card coming out. And I didn't want to say it in case it didn't come out. And here it is, the High Priestess energy. So definitely being in that spiritual energy of having that energy of also the moon. The High Priestess is Cancer Pisces, moon energy. Of having that connection to divine, to source, that intuition, that gut feeling, that higher knowing. And having that faith and spirituality. Wow. So, yep. You are in tune and you are in that high priestess power. If you're even doubting um, your abilities or your gifts or anything like that, I think this is telling you to go with it and do not fear it. Don't doubt it. And just trust. Okay, so let's see what other energy is around you. The seven of swords wow and there is the seven there that is clarifying that self-deceit that um inner conflict and the devil right toxic energy here with the capricorn so yeah being really um conflicted here um like having that negative ego driven kind of energy like not really like sure if this is something you could do something you can do something you should pursue with the devil energy there of just being like so conflicted within it maybe just eating you alive um about this journey about what you want to do you could also have people around you telling you what you do is evil I've had people tell me reading tarot is evil which is nonsense and bullshit so I mean you could have people also telling you around you this nonsense crap with the seven of swords energy that what you're doing is evil when it's not it's very spiritual it's very enlightening it's divination it is not evil in any way so um, anyway so yeah I feel like you may have people around you in the seven of swords energy of trying to tell you you can't do that that's evil that's bad that's negative energy but you know better with the high priestess energy and you're trusting what you know and you're trusting yourself or you need to do that all right so let's see let's see more energy now for your actual situation so here's the page of wands the two of wands and the six of wands wow so look at all this fire energy you 
I had said when I started here, passion project and wands are all about passion. And the seven of swords energy here is your energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So that could be self-deceit, like deceiving yourself with this negative energy. Or this just could be people at you with this negative energy. But your actual situation here is, you know, and this is passionate communication, messages, opportunity, new passionate opportunities, um, endeavors, offers, and that kind of thing. And then here's making plans and setting off on that new journey, making plans and decisions. Like you're, you, you may be planning, you know, you may be communicating to everybody, you know, this is what I want to do, new direction I want to go in, my new passion project. I'm so passionate about this. This is exactly what I want to do. And then you're paving your way here to your success and victory, to uh, total accomplishment. So don't let negative energy here drag you down to um, like brainwash you or think that you can't do this. It's not right. It's not moral. It's evil. It's something you shouldn't do. Blah, 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 blah. You know better because you are on your way here making plans for your destiny to have all the success and victory here for your future. A lot of passion here. Very, I'm feeling very, something you're very, very excited, passionate about, you want to go after it really quick, you, you have that drive and ambition and that courage and strength just to go and do it. No matter what stormy clouds are around you, there is always this light calling you forward. Wow. Wow. Aquarius, so let's see what your advice is. It looks like you're going in the right direction. You have the page to the two to the six and all ones. So you're moving in the right direction. And there's the six with the healing. Sixes are also healing, balancing kind of number. Also success, victory. Wow. So let's see what your advice is now. The tower and temperance. Okay. So your advice. Wow. <laughs> So we have Aries and we have Sagittarius energy. So the tower energy here, I feel are those people around you trying to break you down, trying to crumble you down, trying to change your way of thinking, trying to talk you out of this or talk down about whatever you want to do here, whatever path you want to go on. I feel like people may be really trying to tear you down here with the tower. But your advice is with all that energy around you, it's just to remain positive, just to balance out your energies. You know, you know you are divinely guided here with the third eye chakra here, enlightened with the sun energy. You know, balancing out those energies, having patience with yourself in this situation as you move forward. Having that healing and balancing energy. And this is something with the temperance angels, something that's like divinely guided. So you are divine, will be divinely guided through all this negative BS around you, trying to cause disturbance, breakdowns, um, to, you know, pursue you out of this. You are being divinely guided by this angel that you can balance out all this energy and remain in a positive healing mindset during this difficult time as you transition going forward in this endeavor wow so let's see what your possible outcome may be the hierophant so wow <laughs> this is aries energy again so this is sort of like a priest but it doesn't have to be so this is like a master at religion philosophy faith spirituality so you will be in like this hierophant energy you will be Victorious, you will be looked upon as someone who um, is very knowledgeable about your spiritual path. Just you know, being that spiritual teacher. What is the high priest? A priest or a hierophant is a spiritual teacher. So I mean, you could even be you know going into something more on the religious side, or you could be spiritual side, whatever it is for you. But you will be someone others look upon for faith, spirituality, advice, or whatever it is for you, and sharing your gifts with the Hierophant energy. 
and standing in that role. This is a divinely guided path for you. Wow. The Hierophant. Wow. The High Priestess at the top. Look at that. And the Hierophant at the bottom. I don't really need to say any more about that, Aquarius. Don't doubt anything that you have inside you. And don't listen to that negative energy around you. Because you are going on the right path with the Six of Wands energy here. Wow. So let's get more. Let's get more for you, Aquarius. The wheel, right? So divine energy here. Again, divine wheel of fortune. Turning in your favor. Better luck and timing. Fate and destiny. You are fated to have this destiny that you are striving for. And here's the wheel coming in to turn it in your favor. Sagittarius energy. Wow. Seven of Wands, again with the seven up here. Fire energy again. So we have the page, the two, the six, and now the seven. Standing up for what you believe in. Defending it. And not backing down. Having that stre strength, courage, bravery to not back down from what you believe in and what you want going forward. Page of Pentacles. So again, um, you know, this could be learning. Page of Pentacles is, you know, monetary education, material. So, you know, you may be in the process of learning everything you need to learn right now. Maybe you're still in um, that learning phase. This is a very young phase. So you're in the young stages of your journey. You're learning, you're growing, you're expanding. You're gaining stability in what you know and what you can share with the world moving forward. And you're very happy. Look how happy she looks. And then we have the Three of Cups. So again, I feel like it's a very social number. Uh, water energy. And we have Pentacle energy here, which is Earth. Uh, we have all the um, elements here. We have fire, air, water, Earth. So they're all here. But for Mages, we have Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Aries. Nope. The Hierophant is Taurus, sorry, Sagittarius, and now we have water energy with the Three of Cups, so very social number. So this is, you know, sharing your gifts with those around you, with um, your community, coming from a loving, compassionate place. Wow. Celebrating, rejoicing with like-minded people. All right, so I'm just curious what the next one is. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. So we have the Six of Cups. So you could have had this um, energy, this capability, these gifts in past lives. Six of Cups talks about past lives, um, memories, nostalgia of the past. Maybe you knew you had these gifts from a very young age here, but maybe you kind of like pushed it to the side. Maybe you had people around you telling you, it was evil, it wasn't good, it was negative, you know. But you, I think you knew from a very early age here, you had these special abilities, you had these gifts, and you may have even had them in past lives. Wow. Nine of Cups, so you're heading toward your wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups, water energy, to your happiness and joy, and your dreams coming true and your wish fulfillment. Seven of Cups, again with the seven, with the confusion and the illusions and the daydreaming about it, but the confusion, all that kind of energy. King of Cups, so water energy, so standing in your truth, your value, your compassionate energy, your loving energy, um, being that very loyal, compassionate, loving person towards other others as you share your gifts with the world wow so we have death here so I feel like you know well and there's a brand new beginning so there has to be an ending of all of all this negative thinking of all this doubt and fear and negative BS around you you may have to cut out things no longer serving you uh, even if it's people places or things on your path here. So this is cutting out, she's got the sword here, 
cutting out things no longer serving you, standing in your truth, having that death of all that energy and letting it go, and having a rebirth, a resurrection of yourself, a transformation within yourself, and having a brand new beginning for yourself. Because what's your brand new beginning? The Ace of Pentacles. So this is standing in your morals, your truth, your value, a secure, stable energy moving forward for your future, being abundant and prosperous, growth, expansion, success, stable energy. Yep. So, you know, the Eight of Cups of energy, walking away from things that aren't serving you and walking towards your, towards your fulfillment, listening to the moon energy, your intuition, your knowing, your high priestess energy. All right, Aquarius, let's get some guidance for you and your situation here. I feel like you're spiritually gifted. You could be psychic, you could be a medium, you could be, um, maybe you're just going into religion, or maybe you're just going to teach religion, uh, maybe, you know, anything having to do with anything spiritual, or healing, or based on faith, anything like that, of that nature. All right, so let's see guidance guidance for Aquarius for the first half of August. Some guidance, some advice for Aquarius. Can we have one card for Aquarius? Wake up call. So, yep. <laughs> Big wake up call here to trust and follow your path you know, and to get rid of all this negative energy around you, doubt, fears, um, big epiphanies here, realizing, ending things not serving you so you can have your brand new beginning on your new path. All right, so what? It's like divine waking you up. Said, come on, let's go. It's on the bottom of the deck. Grieve your losses. So, yep, I had said you may have to cut away people, places, or things that are not serving you as you move forward. And yes, you will grieve these losses, but it's a big wake up call here that this is probably something that you need to do and it's okay to grieve any losses you may have but you need to raise your vibration as you move forward you know who you are and what your gifts are and what you're capable of so raise your vibration yep curious what was yeah and be true to yourself exactly be true to yourself who you are and what you can do Yep. And go for your dreams. Exactly. Exactly. With the Nine of Cups energy. Go for your dreams and be true to yourself. Wow. I don't know they're telling me to keep going here. Trust the divine plan. Exactly. I had said that. That I think you're divinely guided in this journey. And to trust in that. Trust. Wow. Wow. Do well, I think that's it. So, yeah, you are being divinely guided to live out your life's purpose as this um, high priestess, hierophant, spiritual teacher, whatever it is for you. That is your calling, that is your wake up call, that is your destiny, your fate, the wheel of fortune there. And keep going, don't listen to any negativity or um, people around you that are trying to tear you down stay in your power in your, and keep yourself balanced with the temperance energy wow Aquarius good for you so Aquarius if this didn't resonate for you you can um, check my uh, playlist down below in the description box you may find something past readings that may resonate for you and uh, if you do like my style you, you like how I read you like my energy please do like share subscribe um, comment I love to read the comments hit the bell you'll be notified when I post new readings so you don't miss out I do bi-weekly general and love so don't miss out on that and uh, thank you so much and sending you the best of luck here good luck on your journey sending you many light love and blessings and as I always always say with my channel is to always always shine your light <laughs>